Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In this video, we will talk about how to add or subtract monomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Before we dive in with these five examples on how to add or subtract monomials, let us define first what is a monomial. And let me give you examples of monomials. It says here, a monomial is an algebra expression with one term or a single term. Now, here are the examples. We have here 3x, negative 5y, and 10. As you can see, what we have here are examples of a monomial in which this 3x is composed of a coefficient and a variable. Same with this one, negative 5y, a coefficient and a variable. Here, this 10 is considered as monomial, though it doesn't have a variable. Next, we have 7a square, which is a composition of a coefficient, numerical coefficient, variable, and exponent. Same with this one and with this one. So let's continue with our main topic. Let's have adding or subtracting monomials. So here's the basic rule. You can only add or subtract those are considered like terms. Let's have example number one. Number one, we are given 4x and 3x. So the question here, are they like terms for us to perform the addition? So how can we consider whether they are like terms? Basically, if they have the same variable and the same exponent, again, if they have the same variable and that variable has the same exponent. Here, we have a variable x and are the exponents the same? Yes. The exponents are invisible one. So they're considered like terms. So how do we perform addition? So let me give you an idea on how does it perform. First, you need to add the coefficients. We have four, plus 3, then you will copy the same variable and exponent, and that is x. And what is 4 plus 3? The answer is 7x. This is the correct answer. Okay? So as you can see, what I have done here, I only showed you this kind of step, but we can directly answer this as 7x. Watch. 4 plus 3, that is 7, and then copy the same variable, which is x. So that is 7x. Let's continue with item number 2. In number 2, we are given 6a squared plus 2a squared. So look at the variable. It has, or they have the same variable a, with the coefficient that is 2. So are they like terms? Yes. So what we need to do is to add the coefficients, 6 plus 2, that is 8, then copy the variable and the exponent, which is a and then square. And this is now the correct answer or the sum of item number two. As simple as that. So we are done with examples number one and number two that focuses on addition. Let's continue with number three. In number three, 9y minus 5y. So are they like terms? Yes, but this time this is subtraction. So what do we need to do is to subtract first the coefficients. We have 9 minus 5, that is equal to 4. Then copy the common variable, y, and this is the correct answer, 4y. Now let's move on with item number 4. In number 4, we have 5x plus 2x squared. Now, the question here, are they like terms? No. What is the reason? Though they have the same expo variable, which is x and x, the reason why they are unlike terms is that the variables contains different exponents. Here, the exponent is 2, and here, the exponent is 1. So they are different. So what we're going to do? The answer here is simply 2x squared plus 5x. This is the correct answer. We cannot combine them, but we can arrange them, in which the first term must be the term with the variable with the greater exponent. 
and this is the answer. So I hope you learned something from this video on how to add or subtract monomials. So in this part of the video, I will let you answer number five and let me know in our comment section what is your answer in this item. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!